Okay, now this is uh, Slow Scan TV Part 3, Jeff, W6FCC. What we're going to do now is demonstrate how you can convert an image into a Slow Scan TV WAV file. So you go out here and you find an image that might interest you. I don't know what we want to look at. We could look at, uh, oh, this is a pretty nice one. Here's an image right here of a big sailing vessel, although it's got a lot of detail. We may not want to do that. How about an iceberg? Let's see what we get with icebergs here, and I have it in image image mode. Uh, what do we have here? There's an interesting iceberg right there. So what you can do is you can take an iceberg like one of these. I know these are not terribly interesting, but uh, okay, here's one. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy that image, copy the image. And I use a program called Paint Shop Pro. And that's this program right here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste it as an image. So there's my image. In order for this to work and to be uh, encodable, let me put away this particular page. I don't need this anymore. Let me bring up the SSTV programs, and this is going to be the signal generator. And this program is looking for a 320 by 256 24 bit bitmap Windows BMP file. So we're going to have to turn this thing into. A file with those parameters. Now in this program which is also, I believe this one is also free, I've had it for years, I haven't changed it much. We can go over here and look at image and we can see what's the story on this image. It's 590 by 370. It's probably not too far off. So let me uh, modify this. Let me just see what happens if I say image resize. And I'll just change the pixel size to what they want, 320 by 256. Let's see what happens. 320 by, that's 201. Let's see what this does to the image. So now when I go look at this image, it's definitely, well that's, 400 by 256 so the I need to do something about this shape so let me uh, change the shape of it slightly by grabbing a set a more square section of it like this and I'll crop to that let's see what we have what's left here image information yeah this might actually work so 333, that's almost like 320. So let me just change the image to 320. Resize this thing to 320. And it's going to make that uh, kind of a small number, but that's all right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the canvas to 320 by 256. And so I have these white images at the top and the bottom. This might be a good place to put my call sign. So let me try that. I go down here and I say I want to put the call sign here. So I make it uh, smaller by quite a bit. And I put in uh, W6FCC RSBA1 software remote. Okay. Let's see how this looks. If I go ahead and put that as the title in here. It's a little, little tight. Maybe I want that at the bottom. Yeah, that's a good spot for that. So I drop it. And I can go up here and... Uh, this program takes some getting used to. I'm going to have to merge these layers. And then I can put another image at the top. And this is uh, Watch for Iceberg. Okay. 
so we're getting there oops got another one of these images cancel that good and I have to merge those layers so the key here now is that this is a 320 by 256 image but it's not 24 bit so now I have to change something else about this image and you may have some other image editor that you need to use. I come down here and I say I want this to be 24 pixels per inch so I change that didn't make a huge difference to the image now I look here at the image information sure enough it's 24 320 by 256 and the last thing I want to do is I need to save it as uh, go back over here to my files and I come down here to audio and I say SSTV and I go into image converter to wave I then have to make this a BMP that's a Windows metafile and this apparently is not the directory I have been using so let me look and see if I can find the uh, the images that I were was using. Slow scan TV folder, image YouTube, SSTV images. There's one. Oh, these are some of my other ones. So let me call this. Uh, this is Iceberg. Iceberg bitmap. Okay, so much for that. I'll just reduce this in size. And the next thing I need to do is I need to go get that image. So I come over here and I grab the ice. I've been using this particular subdirectory. So I grab this image right here. And while I'm over here, I'm going to grab the file name, control C, open. And then over here, I'm going to say that's where I want it. And I want to paste that. I don't care about Chris Hayes. I don't like the guy, but I just had his image up there because it looks stupid. Okay, here's Iceberg. So this is in the same directory. Oh, blah, 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 blah. So it looks like I can go ahead now and generate. And it's going to generate a wave, in, a wave file. As soon as it's done, I guess I can go over here and look. And there's the iceberg wave file, right sitting right there. So I now have an iceberg. If I play it, you probably recognize the sound. Oops. I need to play it. Oh darn, I lost it. Well anyway, we'll go back and find it. I'm gonna pause this till we go back and find it. Okay, so I'm gonna resume this. There's the iceberg wave file. If I click on it, this can be kind of loud, but if I click on it, it sounds like it's going to work. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to run Icon Remote again. And I'm going to connect to this radio. I don't care about that state, that comment. Connected. And then I'm going to run RSPA1. And then I'm going to connect to that radio right there. OK. Connect to it. Then I'm going to go to one of these voice memories. I'll just pick one here, this thing called D. I don't care about that. So I come over here and I pick the D and I want to do the iceberg wave. So I say OK. I grab that one, open, and this is going to be called Iceberg. Okay, so now I have a thing in here called Iceberg. There it is, there it sits. If I transmit it, you're not hearing anything. Let me put the uh, monitor on. Oops, I guess I interrupt, interfered with it. So there's the image going to be trying to transmit it. Now all we have to do is run the program. Come down here and run this receiver. 
set it up for the proper sound card and uh, that would be in the recording section go down here to icon 9 and I've already got it set there so that's okay so let me uh, let me go ahead and transmit that here we go the uh, iceberg So this, I turned it into, I took an image from the internet, squared it up a little bit, set the image size properly. You're going to hear the ID here at the end. Okay, it cut off my call sign at the bottom. So uh, I probably was pushing my luck here with the size of that thing. But you can change the received, you can you can save some of these images if you want to. You can do file, save the image if you want to, but I don't need to save it. It'll save it as a BMP file, not as a WAV file. So, that's part three. This is how you convert an image into a WAV file using this other program here called... SSTV signal generator and I'll explain where you f where you find these programs but this is the program you want and uh, here's the FSK ID that's got encoded into it so that's that this is uh, slow scan TV uh, demo part 3 and I hope it's not a total loss but it's complicated <laughs>